Madam Speaker, to the bill. To the bill. Colleagues, I think first of all, we should determine what happens when someone does cross the border and come to the United States. As soon as they walk across that border, they've broken a law. As soon as they drive a vehicle in this country, they broke a law. As soon as they steal someone's ID with their social security number, they break the law. As soon as they go to work for someone, they break the law again. This bill, to me, does nothing. This bill, I'm not sure what it is, whether it's political or what, but it does nothing. When we get, come to this chamber and we take an oath of office, do we not swear to uphold the Constitution? In the Constitution, does it not state that Congress makes the laws? Has anyone in this chamber read Title 18? It's very specific. You can, in fact, serve prison for harboring someone illegally with an illegal presence. And by why I want to thank everyone for not saying illegal alien. I despise that term. It's an illegal presence, it's an action. People are not aliens, they're people. Having said that, every one of us needs to go read Title 18. You need to understand what we're voting on here because that has some ramifications. Also, this state has talked about this in the past and has also given their decision. That was when this very legislature decided to go ahead and allow people with a legal presence to have a driver's permit. How did that go? Well, let me tell you how it went. Benton County, 5445. Clatsop County, 7030. Columbia County, 8020. Coos County, 7921. Deschutes County, 7030. So on and so forth. This is the way it went throughout the whole thing. This only passed in one county, and that was Multnomah, and it barely passed. That was the only, only county that decided not to override the legislature. The rest of Oregon spoke. Now, since we do have this, what is the cost that's been mentioned here? What is the cost to the state of Oregon? We're all, all the time talking about, gee, we need money. We need money. Of course, money to this body and to the government is like an addicted drug, and the drug of choice is money. It costs the state of Oregon, according to FAIR, which is the Federation for American Immigration Reform, which I might add, just because they give out information, they've been tabbed as racist, which is baloney. It's over a billion dollars a year in the state of Oregon. And someone here said, and, and let me break this down, K through 12 education costs 575 million approximately a year. This is per year, not a biennium, but per year. Supplemental English instructions, English is a second language, $159 million per year. Justice and law enforcement, approximately $140 million a year. Healthcare and social assistance at that time was $125 million a year, but I think with the Obamacare it's probably substantially more than that now. We talked about, someone talked about having $700 million input in taxation. Well, that's not true, at least according to them. The estimated tax revenue for people of illegal presence is approximately $77 million. That's 7.3% of the estimated burden on the state of Oregon. Let's think about what we're doing here. Are we to accept a certain law breaking that is acceptable and has been blessings of this administration? What about the after effect? Didn't we just allow someone to go free without turning them over to ICE and didn't they rape a nine-year-old girl? What about people that die on our roads? If those people weren't here in the first place, they wouldn't have died. I want you to think long and hard about this. 
I hold my hand out to anybody that comes here as an immigrant, providing that it's done in a legal process. Excuse me, Representative. Representative Lewis yields his time. Please continue. The representative. We have a system in place. We are a country of laws. It took my papa 14 years to become a citizen. I would have resented very much if somebody would have cut in front of him or just closed their eyes to the law. And that's what we're doing with this. And I'm sorry that we do that because John Adams did say we are a nation of laws. Please read Title 18 and please vote no on this because I see no real value in this bill. Thank you.